Yo, what's good, YouTube? It's your boy, Dr. PGNG. I'm praise God to get money back for another YouTube video. Banger, man. Yes, sir. Yes, man. I don't know what time it is. The doctor's in the house. Check this out, man. So we had Giovanni Cabrera versus Williams of Payton, man. I thought that fight was going to be a very good fight, and it was while it lasted. I just didn't think it was going to be so short. <laughs> That fight went by quickly, man. Shout out to Williams of Payton, the machine, man. He did his thing. He uh, got Giovanni Cabrera out of there in the third round. And the reason why I think that's significant is um, because I do think Giovanni Cabrera is, is, is a good, capable fighter. He's a good opponent. But what is what is more, even more interesting is that he's a former adversary of Isak Pitbull Cruz. And those of you that um, aren't familiar with that fight, you know, go check it out. That went the distance. And, you know, styles make fights, but that's the interesting part. Styles make fights, and I think that Pitbull and Zepeda, I've been saying this for long, because they have a very similar style. But the key difference is, the, the most vital difference is, the most imperative difference between Zepeda and, 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 um, and Pitbull, to me, is what I've always pointed out, is that Pitbull is a very highly high-pressure fighter, but he's all go from the opening round. Yeah. Zepeda is a pressure fighter, but I feel like he's more refined. Like, he picks his spots, he gives his opponents more time to... Uh, I don't want to say take a break, but you know what I'm saying, kind of, yeah, like take take a break. There's there, there's more breaks, but once he goes on, once he once he finds that vulnerability and he sees it, he's he's on go, all gas. Yeah, you know what I'm saying, no breaks. See, and Pitbull on the other hand, he's just pressure, pressure, pressure from the opening bell. You know what I'm saying, relentless. You know, um, so they say they both have similar styles. They both apply a lot of pressure. Um, you know, but I just think that they kind of go about it in different ways, you know. So, uh, man, Zapata looked sharp, man. He looked good. Um, Cabrera was doing his slick thing. You know, he was frustrating Pitbull when they first fought, you know, to the point where Pitbull even gave him some headbutts. You know, um, <laughs> I believe if my mind, if, if my memory serves me correctly, he gave him a headbutt that resulted in a point deduction, uh, if I'm not mistaken. Um, but, yeah, so I think that uh, Zapata was very impressive because I do think that him and uh, Pitbull have a similar style. But I would say that they just kind of go about their pressure a little bit differently. You know, I think I think Pitbull's more durable, you know, but we'll, we'll see, though. You know, and I think Zapata, what I liked about Zapata's victory is that, man, he put it, he did it in decisive fashion, man. Third round? Damn! I'm sorry. I was not expecting that. I, I, I thought that fight, I had him by stoppage, but I thought it was going to go at least eight or nine or ten you know what i'm saying so zapata looked very um very very impressive and what i do like is that um you know i kind of like it and i dislike it he called out uh lomachenko <laughs> and you know so you know if you know the history of zapata man he does a lot of phantom call outs you know uh before his fight with maxi hughes his last fight he called out shakur right and then um when shakur responded and was like he was ready to oblige he he um he didn't say nothing and then he fought back to hughes and after the fight he called out shakur again and guess what happened he, he said, nah, I'm not ready for <laughs> him and Panda, who's his coach, said, nah, we're not really ready for Shakur. You know, we, you know, we were just we were just see what was up and stuff like that. It's like, bro, stop with the phantom call outs. I don't know if you really want it. I actually think Zapata and Shakur will be a good fight, you know, but I can't believe in the fight more than the fighter, you know. So um, but I do like him calling out Lomachenko because I do I do think it's time for him to get a get a big star. I think Lomachenko and him would be a good fight. I personally have Zapata beating Lomachenko, but I think it would be a good fight stylistically, especially. However, um. I don't know if he's serious, you know, say because we've seen this story before. Maybe he's calling him out again just to just to get his just to stay relevant and get his name out there. You know what I'm saying? He doesn't really have any true ambitions um, to fight Shakur or Lomachenko in the immediate future. Now, with that being said, um, you know, um, coach uh, Kenny Ellis, who's Tank's coach, you know, Javante's coach, came out and said that Lomachenko, you know, it was just on an IG post. Like I said, take it with a grain of salt. It doesn't mean it's anything definitive or final or concrete. But he said that um, Lomachenko has, has has let them know and alerted them that he was willing to step aside and let Tank fight Shakur, you know, first. And then and then Lomachenko will fight the winner of the Tank and Shakur match, um, which is, which sounds good because I want them all to fight each other, but I don't like this. I think that Lomachenko should, should have been for Shakur. Nigga, you was a bitch! <laughs> You know, being that they're both on top rank, or you know, he should have been him and Tank should have been fought. But if they put it off, they put it off further. They already saying that Lomachenko's old, so they're just gonna say that he's even older. You know what I'm saying? So I think that he should fight them first. Um, but if that is true, and and Tank and Shakur do fight, and Loma steps aside for that fight instead of fighting Tank, then I could fully see that Lomachenko and Zapata get a fight. You know, between Bob Arum and Oscar De La Hoya. You know, uh, Golden Boy and Top Rank. So that that's, that's a good fight too. But you know, I wouldn't prefer that order. But however, I wanted to say this too. You know, I think that um that Zapata he has he has quite a few options. You know, um 
and I like them all. You know, I think that his best chance to win would be against Lomachenko. But I think that him and Shakur is a very good fight, man. It's a very good fight stylistically. Him and Lomachenko is a very good fight stylistically. I think his worst matchup is with Tank, you know, Javante right now. He even admitted that as well. He said that he thinks Tank is a harder fight for him than Shakur. And he thinks that Tank is the number one at 135. So, you know, I like Williams Zapata a lot. He just uh, reinforced uh, why I like him a lot. And, um, yeah, man, he looks good. I look forward to seeing more fights with him in the future, man. Y'all let me know what y'all think about in the comments. Do you think Zapata, how do you think Zapata does against the other top? guys at lightweight, you know, 135, whether it's Lomachenko, Javante, or Shakur, man. Y'all let me know in the comments, man. But most importantly, remember, with God, we can do anything without God, we're nothing. Y'all be easy. The doctor's out. Peace. From the hood to college, both worlds, they had to meet. Six degrees between us, so cold, we're about to freeze. But we're Florida boys, hot takes, we bring the heat. We're moving the culture, the engineers to the streets.